What is going on everybody? So I am back today to talk about another film that was nominated for an Academy Award and this film was nominated for Best Foreign Film and I've been trying to go through and watch as many of these nominations as I possibly can and I've been really excited to check them out and this movie really took me by surprise and I'm honestly shocked that more people aren't discussing it and it was absolutely beautiful and I look forward to talking about it today. And the film I'm going to be discussing is The Quiet Girl. The Quiet Girl is directed by Colm Byred. A quiet, neglected girl is sent away from her dysfunctional family to live with relatives for the summer. She blossoms in their care, but in this house where there are meant to be no secrets, she discovers one. So The Quiet Girl is an Irish film, and it was really cool to see the traditional language used mixed in with English in this film. I thought it worked really well together. And I love watching foreign films to just got, kind of get an idea of what filmmaking is like in other countries. And this movie was phenomenal. If I was redoing my uh, best of the year list, this would have made my top 10 easily. It is just so simple and quiet, but powerful in, the, in just such a unique way. It very much reminded me of my one of my favorite films of last year, After Sun where so much of this movie is about quiet and small interactions rather than these big sort of theatrical blow-ups that don't feel natural, this movie felt like a slice of real life. So the film follows Kate, who is a young girl uh, who is very to herself. She doesn't speak up much unless she need, feels the need to speak up. And she lives at home with her relatively large family in this not great house her parents are sort of caught up in their own world. Her dad seems to be kind of a mean-spirited, awful person. Her mom is there, but not necessarily completely in the picture. And she's kind of the outcast comparatively to the rest of her sisters and the people in her family. And even when she goes to school, she's not treated normally. And you see at the beginning of the film, just like her home life and establishes kind of why she is the outcast, why she is the way that she is and so much of that is through the camera work and watching through the camera work and watching Kate kind of just interact with her surroundings and the people that she's around and we get an idea that she's this very quiet but intelligent and thoughtful young girl that just is an outcast in this world that she lives in and so her mother gets pregnant and decides that because she's going to be overwhelmed for some reason during the summer they're going to send her away with her cousins, a husband and wife couple. And so she sends her away for the summer. They make a really long drive out there and immediately Kate's character becomes really attached with the wife. The two of them get really close, but the husband, Sean, is kind of distant. You can tell at first he doesn't really bond with her. He kind of ignores her a little bit. And so the entire film is watching the relationship between these distant cousins who barely know this young girl and trying to get to know her and understand her while at the same time Kate is trying to figure them out and how they operate. And this movie took some twists and turns. I did not expect that it was just so beautiful. Just something as simple as a gesture that someone does is so powerful in this movie. And I, I read a comment somewhere and I think that it perfectly summed up this film is that every shot in this film bleeds empathy in the best way possible. You feel for all of these characters and it's not necessarily even in a way that's just overly dramatic. Hollywood does these movies that they spend so much time building up these overly inauthentic dramatic moments that don't feel realistic and obviously you know when you look at something as early as like stage plays and theater performances you're trying to to um, get a visceral reaction out of your audience but i think that there's something so powerful about film that when you can keep it relatively simplistic and do something in a way that can really invoke a powerful natural reaction because even if you haven't gone through exactly what the characters in this film have gone through you've experienced something like it and i feel like you can sort of see yourself in any one of these characters throughout the movie it, it's it was just so beautiful it was one of those films that it's really difficult for me to completely put into words just how it made me feel because it invokes so many very personal things in my own life that 
uh, really are incredible to watch play out on screen. And I just loved this movie a lot. I think the cinematography is exceptional. Some of the best cinematography I've watched in a film all year. It's so beautiful. Each moment in the film, the camera feels so intentionally placed. And uh, I know I keep comparing this film to After Sun, but they're both very personal movies that are conveying these pieces of life that clearly come from a personal place or a somewhat lived experience. I feel like it would have to to be this personal and beautiful of a story. So much of that is through where the camera is placed and how our characters interact with each other, not even necessarily through dialogue, but through physical interaction and just the way that they look at each other. And I, I think there's something so much more powerful about that level of filmmaking to just your stereotypical Hollywood film. Uh, and I, I really hope that more people seek this movie out because it is truly unique and beautiful. And it's very quiet and it's very uh, restrained, but I think some of the best movies are. And it, like I said, if I was redoing my list, this 100% would make my top 10 films of last year. It was just absolutely incredible. Have you seen The Quiet Girl? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was amazing. I really hope more people check this one out, especially after the Oscars, because it is incredible. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.